Hey everybody, Gaijin guinea pig here, and I went to my local Asian markets here in town. We got like a pretty big Korean one, H Mart, I'm sure some of you have heard of it. And then we have a smaller Japanese one that's sort of just for my city, right? It's not like a chain. And I picked up some snacks and I thought I would check them out, give them a little taste review here in this video. Also got some drinks too to go along with uh, chips and some candies. So yeah, let's let's see what I got, shall we? First up, got some chips from Thailand, some Lay's potato chips, and they are Ming. Oh boy, the pronunciation. Ming Kam Krab Ros. What? I don't know. Looks like this. Check it out. Joy, joy. Da 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 do do. Look at that glare, baby. Okay. I don't know what that is. I think it's like a Thai type of salsa flavor i could be wrong let me know down in the comments we'll check that out also got some cheetos from china a little bit of a glare sorry about that these are american turkey flavor which is interesting because like we eat turkey here in america but we're not like ate for turkey like well oh, give me more turkey see that turkey leg more lays potato chips from thailand Salted egg flavor. Salted egg. There is the egg in question. Intriguing. No? Sticking with the savory items, from Japan we have this brand called Prime. Prime crackers. Cheese sandwiches. Prime cracker, cheese mini sandwiches. This is herb and cream cheese flavor. You know, I... I Guess it's sort of like uh, Japan's version of Ritz Bits Minis, little sandwiches, so should be delicious. Also, of the uh, cheese sandwich, prime cracker minis, I got this flavor wasabi and parmesan. Should be delicious as well. Now, moving on to the sweets or the candies. Milky. Everybody knows Milky, right? Usually it's in a red package. It's got a little milky mascot on it, and it just tastes like a milk candy somewhere between a hard and a soft candy. Well, this is that, but it's the 100-year shortcake flavor. Whatever that means. I mean, I know shortcake. I like shortcake, but uh, 100 years? 100 years of this flavor? I don't know. 100 years of uh, love and shortcake in Japan? Maybe. Maybe. Milky. Also from Japan, I don't know if you pronounce this pure or pure. Pure. We'll go with pure because that's what it looks like. Premium gummies, gummies, and it's pineapple flavor. And pineapple is my favorite fruit, so had to try this. It looks like it has a sort of a liquid center. I'm into that. Now everyone knows this next candy. It is. I chew. I chew. Nishi. Nippon. Right? Western Japan flavors. We have, uh, again, a pineapple flavor. We have essentially like a peach flavor. And then ruby maron grapes, which are like some really bougie grapes. So, all right. I'm into that. All those flavors should be really good. Haichu has a lot of variety here in the States, but don't sleep on Japan. They got, they have even more. All right, now let's talk about some beverages. I have Diodo's Tsumiko Gurashi no Iced Tea. Okay, I was trying to read it. It has the Sumiko Gurashi, cute little characters that everybody kind of knows and loves. Right there. Uh, this is essentially just uh, an iced black tea. No sugar, of course. Next up, we have sea salt and lemon sparkling water. Pretty simple, just like that. I used to hate sparkling water, but now I'm like super into it. So very keen to check this out. You know, no sugar, no calories, all that stuff. I used to hate that, but I'm into it. And last but not least, you've heard of Aquarius, you know, Aquarius Bakari Sweat, the sports drink in Japan. Well, they have a new version of Aquarius right here. Oral 
rehydration solution. It is clear like water, unlike regular Aquarius, which has that sort of cloudy bluish look to it. So this is a different solution. And I was sort of looking it up online and I was like, well, what makes this Aquarius different? And it says oral rehydration solution has a higher concentration of electrolytes than general sports drinks. Sports drinks are sufficient to replenish fluids and electrolytes during daily life and light exercise. But if you sweat a lot due to heat or exercise, we recommend our oral rehydration solution, which has a high concentration of electrolytes and is quickly replenishing. Okay, great. So Aquarius. All right, so we're just going to try these. We're going to go through this quick. This isn't going to be like ASMR. I'm not going to silently chew into the microphone. Unless you're into that kind of stuff, and then think about it. Lace. All right, they're open. I don't want to make too much noise. <laughs> okay, so these are interesting. They're actually really tasty, I think. There's a... Um, Sort of a sweetness, a little bit of a sourness to it, which is a little bit, you know, disarming when it comes to eating a potato chip. Uh, I googled it to see what the hell this is, and it this is what I found. It's originally made as a Thai appetizer dish wrapped, wrapping green leaves with various ingredients inside, such as cabbage, lettuce, chili, peanuts, dried shrimps, putting them all in one bite. So... Oh yeah, there's a little bit of a citrus taste. All right, well, it's it's very different. It's not like anything I think I would eat off of a Lay's potato chip here in the US, but I actually think it's pretty good. Would buy again. Lay's Thailand, okay. On to the next. Sticking with Lay's, we're gonna go with the salted egg. All right, I cut them open. They kind of stink. Tastes like a, they smell like a cracker. Uh, I don't know about this one. Like at first, it sort of tastes like a, the yolk of a hard boiled egg. And you're kind of like, oh, that's bizarre in a chip. But the more you chew it and get through it, uh, the aftertaste is rather unpleasant, in my opinion. But, you know, for science sake, let's try one more. It's bizarre. It's like the flavor, the flavor scientists really did capture that egg yolk taste a little bit. But there's something off-putting about the aftertaste, so... Don't think I'd buy these again. But it is a curious... Taste. So if you see it and you want to try it out, go for it. But uh, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> All right, next up, Cheetos, American turkey flavor. So weird. I have had Cheetos in other countries before, uh, most often in Japan. The texture is a little bit different than what we're used to in the States. Uh, the flavor as well. So, All right. Looks like a Cheeto, as expected. One more. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Like, honestly, the flavor is super mild on these. Nothing about it says turkey to me. I've had turkey. I eat turkey sandwiches. I've had turkey at Thanksgiving. I don't know what turkey that this is. I don't know what they're trying to convey here. It's a really mild seasoning. You mostly just kind of taste the corn puff of the Frito. So probably would not buy these again. On to the next. Now I'm going to try and prime crackers, herb and cream cheese. Uh, you can probably guess that's sort of a tried and true flavor combination no matter where you're at. Pardon that noise. <laughs> oh, of course they come in little pouches, you know, Japan and its tendency to overpackage. There's actually two packages in this box. Actually, herb, garlic and herb cream cheese this is what I like on my bagels, so. Like a Ritz Bit sandwich, mini. Mm. 
very herbaceous. Cream cheese is nice because it's super creamy, but the herbs are like, yeah, right to your taste buds. I like it. Would buy again. Hard my mouthful. On to the next. Wasabi and Parmesan. Gonna open these bad boys. Again, same packaging. Two pouches. Again, as expected, looks like a little Ritz. Ritz Bits Mini. Hmm. Ooh, what's up, Prime Cracker? I mess with you. Holler at me, Prime Cracker. Very good. Tastes super fresh. Those are bomb. They taste super fresh. Cream cheese is nice. Wasabi gets you right up here in the sinuses, as good wasabi should do. Solid. Prime Cracker, A+, plus, would buy again. All right, for the sake of sort of uh, rinsing out my flavor boy, my flavor buds, after all that savoriness, we're gonna go to the drink, the deodo, pretty much just your basic black tea, no sugar. I know what this tastes like already because they all kind of taste the same, but this packaging is so cute. Nani? Why does this taste kind of sweet? Is there sugar in this? You got me bugging. You got me bugging, B. I don't know. This tastes kind of like uh, Southern sweets, sweet tea here in the States. No, no. If this has sugar in it, it's really faint, but... I think just chasing those crackers with it, it made me think that it had sugar in it, but I don't think it does. But it really does have that kind of southern sweet tea taste, but without a bucket full of sugar. That's delightful. Let's move on to the candy. Milky. 100 year shortcake. Looks like this. Little typical milky wrapper. This one has got... Uh, Pink and white swirl, instead of just being solid white. Yaddy yad and do. Trying to get the lighting better. All right, you, you get it. I don't really get like shortcake flavor. It kind of just tastes like uh, strawberries and cream. That's what it tastes like, which makes sense because it's milky mixed with strawberry. So yeah, tastes like strawberries and cream. Which is good, but I think it kind of misses the mark when it comes to tasting like shortcake. I don't really like the firmness of Milky. I either, I usually just want a soft candy or a soft chew. So I probably wouldn't buy them again, even though they, they taste fine. It's just not my thing. Let's check out the uh, Pure Premium Gumi pineapple flavor. I love pineapple. Really hoping that this... Uh, Hits the mark flavor-wise. The illustration makes it look like a ton of jelly is going to come out of this thing, but paper your expectations, folks. Much like a gusher here in North America, it's never like that. Right, looks like this. I don't know, intentionally in the shape of a heart? Maybe. Interestingly, I feel like if this were an American candy, it would just be like super sweet with a little bit of pineapple flavor, artificially. This feels like it's trying to capture a realistic pineapple taste, which I can appreciate. Um, it is very soft. It's gummy in the sense of like those cinnamon bears or those orange slices that we have in the States. Your teeth kind of cut right through it. Not like a gummy, like a gummy bear where it's like chewing on a rubber ball. So that's nice. Very pineapple, but surprisingly not that sweet. So I could tear this whole bag up. And yes, they are intentionally heart shaped. I'll bite one in half and we'll see if we can see. We'll see if we can see any liquid coming out.
I mean, you can see the core. Squeeze that out. These are bomb. Super good. If you love pineapple, you're gonna rock with these. Pure premium. Would buy again. Moving on to the Nishi Nippon High Chew Flavors. Bag is open. Three different kinds, of course, as promised. Three different colors. So first up, and these are from different regions of Japan, obviously, this is Okinawa Pineapple. So we're gonna chase that pure premium pineapple with the high chew pineapple and see who gets the crown. They be duking it out. I almost put it just in my mouth. You know, it's just a little yellow. It's really hard to pick up yellow here. Just a little yellow high chew with a slightly white center. Sorry, you can't see it that well. Eh, big deal. ASMR. Wow. My biggest takeaway from that, it's not very sweet at all. It's super mild. It's pleasant, but it's a super subtle pineapple flavor. It's like a... Imagine a pineapple walked by and kind of farted in your like as he walked by you a little pineapple fart and then you were like what's that pineapple i don't like that next up ishikawa prefecture's ruby roman grapes which apparently if you were to try to buy a batch of those grapes in japan like the real deal mad expensive so start saving your pennies Purple with a little white core. Whatever. Can't get good light. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Candy. Hmm. This has more of a punch you right in the face with a grape flavor that you'd expect. Tasty. But if you've ever had a pack of high chew grape, like just regular generic grape, I think you'd be hard pressed to sort of differentiate the difference between these bougie grapes and your basic grapes in high chew form. Still tasty though. All right, last with the high chews, Yamagata Prefecture's Shimizu White Peach flavor. Say that three times fast. This is sort of an off yellow color again. I was assuming it'd be pinkish, but no, a little off yellow. Yo. Even though I just said pineapple's my favorite fruit, the peach high chew might be the best of the three. That is packing a mighty flavorful punch. Yeah, Nishi Nippon high, high chew. Check it out. I would buy these again. I think they're really good. I love high chew. How about you? <laughs> I rhymed on purpose, by the way. All right, all we have left to check out are the beverages, aside from the tea. So I think I'll do sparkling water first, which is a lemon sparkling water. And I'm gonna predict right now, it's gonna taste just like a lemon sparkling water. Even though it says sea salt and lemon. What's up? Oh, no carbonation pop, what up with that? Yeah, smells like something you'd clean your countertops with, yep. Lemon is pronounced, people. Very pronounced. I've had lemon sparkling water before and it, it's really subtle and faint, but this is like very lemon forward. I don't know that I get any sea salt taste because I think all the carbonation sort of masks that along with the lemon, but it's pretty refreshing. If you're into sparkling water, obviously. I'm into it. Would buy again, especially on a hot ass day. Yes. Last up is the uh, Aquarius Oral Hydration Solution. Not to be confused or mixed up with your regular Aquarius. I need to rehydrate because I've been sitting here 
for over 30 minutes and uh, working up a sweat. It smells just like regular Aquarius, that sort of uh, faint grapefruit smell. Cleanse the palate. It's got that same mouthfeel as Aquarius, it, and it kind of like, it looks like water though, but it coats your tongue like a thicker drink, like, like regular Aquarius. But it's super light, like you could, ch you could slam this thing in seconds. You could chug the hell out of this, but I wouldn't recommend that, but you could chug it. It's very... It's like Aquarius, but more like water, if that makes sense. I think it makes sense. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, even on a good day, I don't typically buy a Picari sweater Aquarius because I'm not really into that grapefruit flavor. So I don't know. I wouldn't buy it again. This is just Aquarius with a different package and slightly different uh, look to it, I guess. All right, so that was uh, something different. A little snack video. Uh, went to the Korean market, went to the uh, Japanese market. Got a little bit of all these goodies. You know, the, the Cheetos from China, the Lay's from Thailand. Those were from H-Mart. Uh, and the rest, the Japanese snacks, were from this little specialty Japanese sh shop here in Colorado. But yeah, what did you guys think? Do you like these kind of videos? Just uh, some di something different, mix it up. What looked good to you? What sounded horrible to you? Let me know. And uh, if you have any interesting snacks you'd like to tell me about or recommend, send it my way. I'm a snack monster. I will gladly hunt them down. Also, if you uh, recommend a snack, let me know where you think I could pick it up. You know, help the search a little bit. But yeah, you know the routine. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Find me on Twitch at Gaijin Guinea Pig. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.